This is a tutorial for how to build the 24-7 Simpsons player on a Raspberry Pi 1. The original video will show up in the link right now. So here we go. I want to start by downloading two programs. One is the LibreELEC USB SD Creator for Windows. And the second one's a program called Bellina Etcher. You select your model and hit download. Select the folder you want it to go, hit OK and it'll start to download. Now once that's complete and done downloading, if you're on Windows 7, you should be able to just hit the right button and you know select your SD card and hit right. On Windows 10, you'll get this error message. Belina Etcher comes in. Because you've downloaded the image, you can just select it and create your SD card. Once that's done, you'll want to set up your Pi. Uh, you'll need Ethernet, so you'll need this plugged into your network. Uh, I recommend hooking up an HDMI monitor and a keyboard and power, obviously. Uh, you'll see it'll boot up into LibreElect. Once it's booted, you'll see the Kodi splash screen. It'll take a while to boot, especially on a Raspberry Pi 1. Once the wizard pops up, You'll want to hit next, leave the host name the same. For networking, remember your IP address that it's received. Now the next page, which is sharing and remote access, when that pops up, wait. The screen's blank. If you hit next, it'll skip it. It takes a few seconds to load. And once it loads, that's where you're able to turn SSH on. It'll ask you to change the password. I highly recommend you do. The reason SSH is disabled by default is because of these default passwords. These get compromised often, so change it to a good password. I'm just going to change it to something stupid for this demonstration. Now you're done. That's all you really need the keyboard and the HDMI monitor for. You want to plug in your USB stick and format it. Pay attention and pick a volume label that you'll remember. That'll be important for later. Once it's done formatting, you can open up the USB drive. Create a folder. Again, remember the name of the folder. Caps are important. This is case sensitive. Then paste your files in. Now it's time to plug the USB stick into the Pi, and let's remote in. So launch PuTTY, and you can connect to it using the IP address uh, from earlier during the wizard setup in LibreELEC. And you can log in using root and the password that you set up. So first let's verify the USB stick. So you can type in CD, VAR, media, and then the name of the USB stick followed by the folder name, case sensitive. Next, let's go to the user data folder. On LibreELEC, it's under storage, Kodi, user data. And let's use uh, nano to create a file autoexec.py. In here, you can either type in the lines of code or you can copy them and then to paste, just right click anywhere in the putty window. Okay, this part's a little screwy. My original implementation of this, and it's still running with the original code, had player control random first. I've rebooted it multiple times. It seems to be playing random every time. I tried it on this one, and it played sequentially, alphabetically through the files every single time, no matter what I did. So what worked for me this time is moving the player control random command after the play media command and changing it to player control random on. So your mileage may vary. You're probably going to have to screw around with this command a little bit. This part's going to be a little tricky. You may have to SSH back into it a few times to play around with it until it works. Control O to write out. Control X to exit. 
We're almost there. This last step is to enable the composite video output. If you were to open the config file, so nano, then the folder flash, and it's config.txt, you'll get this error message uh, saying that the file is unwritable. So by default, the flash folder is read only. So you want to type in uh, this line here to remount it as read write. And then you can just use the up key to edit the config file again. This time you'll see there's no red warning message. So scroll down to where you see the uh, HDMI line, HDMI ignore CC init equals one. You can comment that out and you'll want to type in the line SDTV underscore aspect equals one for NTSC or equals two for PAL. You can save this, control O to write out, control X to exit. Now let's remount so that the flash folder is read only again and reboot. So let me get this straight. Uh -huh. There's a beaver on the nickel, right. a caribou on the quarter, and a bird on the